Archilochus Selected Elegiacs, Episode 2. Here you can see on this tourist's map the home of Archilochus, which was the island of Peros, right here. First I'll read the couplet in meter, and then we will discuss grammar, translation, syntax, and style. En dori men moi mad zememag mene en dori doi nos. Is mari kos pi no den dori ke klimenos. Recall that the first line is a hexameter, and the second line is commonly called a pentameter, or more proper, properly, a double hemi epase. So an epase is an epic line, like this one, and this is a double half line. So one, uh, two and a half feet, es mari kos pi no, and then another two feet and a half, den dori ke klimenos. So here are the marks, en dori men moi. Ma zame mag mene en dori doi nos is mari kos pi no there's the half foot den dori ke klime nos there's the second half foot he says en dori in my spear or on my spear there is men and it will be picked up by de and de. So, on my spear, in my spear, by my spear, and dori, madza, the bread, my bread, here's the nominative subject, my bread is kneaded, memagmene. Memagmene is a perfect passive participle from the verb madzao, which means to knead bread. So, with my spear is my bread kneaded. With my spear, or on my spear, is oinos, the wine, Ismarikos, my Ismerian wine. And this is a very famous wine from a famous mountain in Thrace. And there's the next de. I drink it, referring to the wine. I drink it while keklimenos, reclining or resting, endori, on my spear, endori, I should say. Keklimenos is a perfect middle participle from the verb klino. Now let's look at some of the many marks of style. First we have alliteration. Men moi madza mem magmene, the alliteration of the letter mu. Each clause begins with en dori. It's repeated three times. Men is answered by de and de. En dori men moi madza mem magmene en dori doi nos. Ismari kos pino. Den dori ke klimen nos. So on my spear or with my spear, my bread is kneaded. Now there's some uh, that is kneaded, of course. There's some dispute about what exactly this means. Some think it means that as a soldier, he kneads his bread with the tip of his spear. I think that this is not at all correct, and it means that instead he earns his bread, he earns his keep by means of or with his spear. Uh, the word spear here is from dobru. It's a neuter noun, and it's a common implement which a soldier would carry. And with or on my spear, I gain or earn my wine, oinos. And I drink it, and we might even take pino as consume, referring to both the bread and the wine. I drink it while on my spear, leaning, keklimenos. And there is a bit of a surprise in putting this last, because the use of the spear here is quite different than the use in the two previous clauses. As a soldier, he relies upon or leans on his spear for acquiring these things.